Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we completed the Origin minigame. And this time, seeing as how there are no more adventure levels to go through, I think I'm going to start with the adventure extra levels. So as far as I know, these levels take place in the time of day opposite of what their adventure mode took place in. So, so for like the eight worlds that took place during the day, they take place during the night, and then the two worlds that took place during the night take place during the day. Wowzers, this is 4,000 years ago, now at night time. Yes, user Dave, the night at the desert may be calm and peaceful, but mummified zombies are here, and they will not give up their brains for quests. Or, I read that wrong so horribly. Time for nighttime battling. Bring out our sun shrooms and puff shrooms. All right, ooh, just a bunch of basic guys. Interesting. Yeah, so I have a few boosted plants I actually kind of want to use, I think, in that case. Uh, I'm going to bring um, yeah, a sun shroom, and I'm going to imitate that. I feel like bringing a imitated um, sun shroom is very nice for sun produ production. I feel like I'm going to just keep doing that in the future. Anyway, let's bring our boosted puff shroom, and then we obviously are going to need a grave buster for this level, I think. And seeing as how it's not going to be too difficult, I'm just, I'm just going to bring bong choy as well. Like, I'm not expecting too much of a fight here. I'm trying to get rid of all my boosted plants. So I can get more. You know, I haven't used potato mine in a while. Let's just use potato mine instead of a stalling plant. I don't think we'll really need them all that much anyway. I don't think this is going to be too difficult. Like, I unlocked this, like, ages ago. Um, so I assume it's going to... this. All these worlds are probably going to be easier at first compared to, like, the Adventure Part 2 levels. Alright, here comes this dude. Prepare to be defeated by the boost puff shroom. Alright, as soon as these graves are cleared out, we'll start subbing in the bonk choys. Yeah, I, I expect this level is going to be over uh, faster before I can even get my setup together. I don't even think I need the Grave Buster. Like, I'm going to be earning so much sun real fast. Like, I'm not even going to be able to use the potato mine. This is clearly overkill for this level. Okay, the guy in the bottom needs help, though. Come on, guys, give me some sun. Mr. Sharon, thank you. Just to get these graves. I don't even, like, I definitely don't think I'm just gonna have time to put out mostly everything here. Yeah, at this point, I'm just limited by my sun production. Five streams are definitely overkill for this. Let's fast forward a little bit, shall we? Yeah, we'll, we'll get a decent amount of money from this, considering that everything I have um, gives me sun when they die. I like the fact that the boosted plants give you money. I just wish it was better. Because um, the amount of coins you get just isn't all that much for what you would expect yet. I also like how some of the boosted plants from the Zen Garden gain, like, um, like, reduced sun cost or, like, faster recharge time, which is great. Because uh, in the vanilla game, the main boost that everyone cared about was the fact that plants got plant fooded, um, essentially like right off the bat, which was totally OP. I'm glad they got rid of that. Because having a plant c come in plant fooded was absurdly OP. That just ruined the game. 
Anyway, that was Adventure Extra Part 1. I assume all these levels aren't going to be that easy. Uh, let's take a look at the next level. Alright, so, so it might just be the same thing compared to like the regular levels where it's probably going to be this easy the whole way through, but um, it's just at night, so that's like the main thing I have to be concerned about. Maybe I should start using the plants that I got during the worlds just to make it more interesting. Like maybe I should try using blue meringue. Also, maybe I should bring grave best grave eater again. Grave buster. Yeah, we can we can try and use the world Pacific plants. Let's do blue meringue. I did I get bong choy in this world? I can't remember. I definitely got blue meringue. I, I, th I think bong choy might have been later. I also know I definitely got iceberg lettuce. Hmm. I don't recall. Oh, I'll bring bong choy. I mean, you get it. You get bong choy in ancient Egypt in the vanilla game. I know that much. But yeah, we'll be fine with just these plants. Let's give that a shot. I love being able to boost or like imitate the sun shroom. This is like so efficient for sun production. Signs of camels. I wonder what that means for the level name. Alright, let's uh, potato mine this dude. I haven't used potato mine so long. Well, I didn't. I just used it a bunch in the origin levels. But uh, I hardly ever use potato mine because it's like, why would you ever use that when you could bring uh, stalling plants? But yeah, in this level, but in these night levels where I'm spending my sun on all my sun production right off the bat, I need something cheap to deal with, guys. There we go. Sun production is up. Put Bong Choy there. Actually, let's dig you up. Put a Bong Choy there. Ooh, okay. Camel guys are just flying in. Get a bong choy here. Get rid of that grave quickly. Oh. Shoot, dude, you're moving in real quick, aren't you? I'm gonna need a bong choy for that guy that I just froze. At least that bong choy will be able to get rid of the grave, too. Let's put our first blue meringue out. The sun is just trying to grow up to be big and strong. So I'm getting way more sun now. Who's a bucket head or somebody there? Yes. Okay, these guys like to get nice and close up and personal with all my plants when they sandstorm in like that. I like how the, the zombies don't start eating like right away when their like little camel shield gets destroyed. That feels very forgiving. Because otherwise it feels very unfair when they do that. No, I really should like tear up a plant um, and try to bring something like super powerful because I haven't done that yet. Like maybe I should try bringing like, I don't know, like a tier th 3 bloomerang and we'll see how powerful it really is when I manage to get one out. Uh... 
Sandstorm, oh no, well, ever will I do. Luckily, the bloomerangs, like, actually, like, kind of prevent the sandstorms in a way. Because, like, as soon as the bloom bloomerangs boomerang uh, hits one of them, it stops them from, like, progressing more. I gotta start replacing these Mok Choys in the back with just Bloomerangs. Because, uh, my only main damaging plant is melee. Uh, there's pretty much a, a limit to how much damage I can do to them. I need something in the back helping out. So far, so good. So far, so good. I mean, these levels are a bit easier than I expected, honestly. I thought they would have at least been a little difficult, but uh, no, this is like pretty pitiful. <laughs> Okay, every row has their two bloom right now. I just need more bong choy. More bong choy, more! And the puff shrimps are just like irrelevant at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna start digging up the, the youngest sun shrimps. So I don't think sun production is an issue at this point. Now the guys are just that was getting sandstorming in are just dying so fast. And they're dropping like way more money than I think. I don't even have any boosted plants anymore. Alright, well there we go. Signs of camels. Beat. I know, I might have to do uh, four levels this episode, because these these early ones are going by extremely quickly. Alright, let's get in level three here. The tombstones are going wild today. They'll continue to rise from time to time, blocking our projectiles. Gotta break them all then! Indeed, lest we allow the zombies to win. Plan your defense. Oh, is this a last stand level? I hope it is. Oh, it is a last stand. Yes. I've been waiting for one of these. It's been so long since I've gotten to play one of these. Hmm. They put little gaps here in the tombstones, so it makes me want to put, like, starfruit there and, like, get rid of the graves super quickly. I don't know. Maybe this is a starfruit spam level. Perhaps, perhaps. Cactus will also be really nice here, but I can't. I don't know if I can afford cactus because I only have like two thousand sun. Well, hang on. Let me see. If I have four hundred fifty for each cactus, let me just do the math. Could I put one in each row? No, I cannot. I could not do five cacti. I would not be a little short. I would need something else. Well, maybe I should just do, like, blue meringue. Hmm. I could... I could do blue meringue. I could do... 
I could do like blue meringue and fume shroom. Or maybe I could just do like I don't know, two. I almost wanna just see if um if I do like two rows of blue meringue if that'll work. Maybe I'll bring sapling too, and uh, I really don't care about the rest of my stuff here. I just want to give that a shot. I want to see what happens. If I just do all blue meringues. Oh, I can't do all blue meringues. Uh. Alright. Okay, well I can do saplings. Let's do that. Uh, I just want to see what, what this, how this goes. We're gonna fast forward. This is probably not enough damage. Yeah, our damage is gonna take a while to get there because we have to um, break all the graves first. All those guys are broken, so now we're actually dealing damage to these guys. I'm just gonna freeze this guy. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't like his torch. I'm, I'm sure he'll still die. Uh, I probably should. Well, I'll just put another bloom ring down at the top. And yeah, the top row should be the row we don't have to worry about much anymore. Yeah, well, these constant grave pop, graves popping up. I don't think. Hmm. I, know, I guess it depends on how fast the graves pop. Because if they pop up a lot, then yeah, these these um torch guys pro probably could get very close. This is gonna this is gonna be really stupid if this works. Actually, were there bucket heads in the preview? I wasn't even looking. I mean, there's definitely lots of cone heads and torture guys. That's all I can really see. Dang, if I use, oh, I should use a tier three sapling, especially if it's, especially on a last stand level where sun is important. I Man, I could put, I be, I could be putting out iceberg lettuces. Why haven't I been doing that? I would. Oh yeah, why am I not doing that? Because if I put out iceberg lettuces, the graves can't get to the spots especially like way up front like right here yeah that's why the bloomerang doesn't have to like stop and hit the grave every time so the, the boomerangs only have they can only hit three targets before they have to come back so if I put these all down then yeah they should theoretically prevent the graves from popping up So there are bucket heads. They do exist. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, this is gonna be really stupid if this works. This is kind of just a strategy I came up on the whim. you before you activate that other iceberg lettuce. <laughs> now the buckheads are gonna start becoming making this a problem. Dang it, dude, that guy ate two iceberg lettuces. Let's put a uh, spring bean here. All oh, those guys are gonna burn him now, aren't they?
This is such a stupid strategy. Like, I, I put, like, no thought into this at all. And it's working. I still have 175 sun for this final wave. Like, I can... Like, I can do some stupid stuff. <laughs> Like, yeah, let's just launch all that back. Don't eat that. Saffling, dude. Alright, well, apparently this works. I don't think I would even like use Bloomerang net, like normally. I like I probably would have just used like Fume Shroom. Well, I don't know what I don't know what the DPS of the Bloomerang is. It does have that little minor stunning effect it has when it hits things. So I mean, it has that going for it. But like I feel like a Fume Shroom and Laser Beam are just better. Well, there we go. That was to uh, Tomb Digger. Yeah, I definitely have enough time to do a fourth one. Yeah, these levels are just going by way too quickly. Although, you know what? Before we go, let's check out the Zen Garden. Because I just, I did use a bunch of boosted plants for the first level. And plus, I don't know if I've shown this off recently at all. But yeah, this is what my Zen Garden looks like. It's getting quite full, and I have so many sprouts. And they keep giving me plants that I, like, I never use. Hmm. I just, I just want more marigold and stuff. I need the money. There's so many things I want to buy. Like, I eventually want to try and buy the, um... What is it? The, the Power Lily as well. I spent all my gems on the Imitator and the Extra Seat Slot. Which I don't regret. I, I mean, those are definitely worth it. But anyway, let's move on to level 4 of Night Ancient Egypt. Look, Betty! The zombies are doing one of their pyramid schemes! That is not what it means, User Dave. However, it looks like they are planning something. You should try to prepare carefully before attacking. Indeed, neighbor, there's no rush at bashing zombies! Alright, well now they got... Sarcophagus. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just bring the boosted sunshroom to get us through this. Uh... Perhaps I should just... I don't think Chomper can eat these guys right away. I think, um... Yeah, I think Chomper, uh, will just bite them normally, but, I mean, I, that's still a lot of damage. Hmm. But I kind of want to, like, while these levels are so easy, I want to try, like, a bunch of new strategies that I've never done before. Like, what plant have I not really used a whole lot? Well, maybe I should just try getting rid of my boosted plants still. Like, Laser Bean... Well, Cold Snapdragon. Yeah, I definitely want to use Cold Let's use Cold Snapdragon. So, let's just bring one... Um, well, I've used this strategy before, but I'll just keep using it. While I have a boosted plan for it. But yeah, we'll bring... The Cold Snapdragon. And... Spike Rock. And... Endurian. Yeah, that should be good. Actually, yeah, I think Spike Rock might be overkill. Let's just bring Spike Weed. We don't- I haven't used Spike Weed in a while. And then I probably should just bring Grave Eater to get rid of all the plants and stuff- or all the graves. Uh, yeah, let's give that a shot. And um, because I pretty much only have melee plants, let's put the Sun Shrooms in the back. And for this, I might even want to- I might even want to do, um... Uh, three columns of sun shrooms because because yeah, there's no real, there's no real point to having just two columns when everything's melee only. Like I'll try and do two columns of coal snapdragons though. But yeah, let's just do three columns of sun shrooms. Let's get rid of these graves if we can. Mm 
Why are the zombies not- what? What on earth was that? Double wave? Dude, I don't even have stuff out. Triple wave! Excuse me. I am not prepared for this at all. Well, if I get a- dude, there's like the perfect spot for a cool snapdragon out. I just need to get the sun out for it, like, right now. Give me the sun, please. Sun, 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 thank you. Well, then, okay. Luckily, the, I, I have the like, perfect place to put down a cool snapdragon and deal with all those guys at once. But, okay, well, like, we got our sun out now. No more preparing. Just massive sun production. Let's put this here. Double wave. Okay, th this is getting interesting. Triple wave! Yeah, I really need another one of those. These guys are actually tough too, like they're buckhead, buckhead and coneheads. These guys right in my face are making me nervous. Let's put this guy right here. Oh shoot. I may have let that guy walk too far. Shoot. Oh no, 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 no. Dude, stop eating that thing. I paid so much money for him. No. Okay, just enduring it for the time being. That was definitely bad. No, dude, that's my son. Can't take my son. Is this guy seriously not getting hit by the cool snapdragon right here? Okay. That was annoying me. Dude, stop taking my son. Oh my gosh, the, I'm being overwhelmed here, but like, soon I'll turn it around. See, now I wish I had Spike Rock. I, I underestimated this level. Okay, I think I have everything under control now. Let's heal that guy up up top because he looks quite weak. Okay, okay. Everything is fine, despite how it may look. I mean, actually, I kind of have everything under control at this point. Yeah, they gave me such a long prep time, but then it was just like, boom, triple wave. I've never seen anything like that happen before. Yeah, I got a bit of money out of that using my boost's cold snapdragon. I'm happy about it. But yeah, guys, that was the end of level four of the Adventure Extra of Ancient Egypt. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next time, 
I assume the levels are going to be go back to like being a normal difficulty, so I'll probably do levels 5, 6, and 7 um, for that. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!